Thank you, Mira. Good morning, everyone. I think it's still morning. I am Subhas Pandit from Nepal, and today I'll be talking about our experience with a new cancer center in Nepal. So, any guess where is Nepal located? There's a hint. It is somewhere in the green area. Uh, so, bang. The, it is between two giant countries, India in the south and China in the north. So we are 6,000 kilometers from Zanzibar, and it took me 10 hours to fly. The transit was Dubai. Uh, talking to Tanzibar, Tanzania and Nepal, we have something in common, and that is the rhino, the great horn. <laughs> but there is a small difference. Uh, your rhino has got two horns. Our rhino is single horn. And you can see this is the hundred dollar, hundred rupees note from Nepal, and it fits us a rhino. So we have something in common. <laughs> Nepal is uh, famous for mountains, tourism, temple, and so many different things. And uh, we are organizing this visit Nepal for tourists. So if you are planning, 2020 is a good year. Coming to the key facts, uh, uh, Nepal is. Uh, the area is 147, 181 square kilometers, 93rd largest country, it's a small country with a population of around 30 million. Uh, we have eight of the world's 10 tallest mountains, including the highest mountain, Mount Everest, in our country. Economically, Nepal and Tanzania are similar. It is the GDP, the upper one is Tanzania. Uh, Tanzania is a bit better. Uh, coming to life expectancy, it is also similar. Uh, the upper one is, I think, Nepal. So we have almost similar life expectancy. Uh, in cancer incidence, cervical cancer is common in both Nepal and Tanzania. Kaposi sarcoma uh, is a, a problem in Tanzania, not in Nepal. Breast cancer, they are similar. Prostate, we don't have much of prostate cancer in uh, Nepal, but in Tanzania, I can see a huge number. It's the global kind data. I don't know why. Esophagus is also more in Tanzania. We have more problem of lung cancer, and it is due to smoking. I can tell you. Uh, coming to radiotherapy setup in Nepal, uh, from the IAEA data, it shows that there are five radio centers with five LINAC and two telecobalt machines with total number of seven machines in Nepal. Uh, now, coming to the topic proper, how to develop a radiation facility in developing country. Uh, this is uh, from the uh, old cancer day celebration program that we have 70 percent of cancer death happening in developing country and we need to do something to fix this uh, issue so in the next uh, talk i'll be talking about how to develop a cost effective therapy for developing country how we started the cancer center coming back to 2013 five years back uh, the population of nepal we talked it is 30 million and there were six tail therapy machines. And at, at any time, just like we are discussing in the morning, half of the machines were broke, broken. And patients had to go abroad. In our country, mostly it was India. Uh, and some affording patients could go to other places like uh, Switzerland, sorry, Singapore and Thailand for treatment, which was very expensive. And many patients did not receive any treatment <coughs> or they received suboptimal cancer treatment. So what was happening? In terms of finances, the country was losing millions annually. And we doctors were losing a chance to treat the patient and gain and maintain our expertise and experience. So with uh, the fire in the belly, we thought that we need to do something to change the situation. So we wanted to establish a we are a group of doctors who went to study this love, modern cancer center. Initially, we went to an established hospital, uh, asking them that you can start a new radiotherapy unit. They went to the table, they, dis they did discussion, they made a plan of like a two high in Linux, CT simulator, MRI, Bracky, what else, what else, and they came up with a number of 20 million US dollars, which is a huge number. So they said we can't invest this number, and it is uh, one way good because uh, had they invested, it would not have been sustainable in developing country like Nepal. So we needed some solution. We don't, we didn't knew what was the solution. So we scratched our head. We, we thought about so many different options. 
then we came with a new idea that we'll start a new center to solve our problem. So we made a team of doctors, we approached different banks and one of the banks, fortunately, it liked our idea. And the idea was to make cost-effective cancer center without compromising the quality. So what did we need for the cancer center? We need three things basically, land, equipment and manpower. So coming to the location, uh, this is the map of Kathmandu Valley. Uh, this is the core Kathmandu, it is called the Ring Road and the land here is very expensive. So we went for something outside the valley. This is the location of our hospital. But the good thing is it is just 16 kilometers from the international airport and a big highway, it's nearby the center. So we got a land, 1.6 acre of land. This is the land in which the hospital was built. It was in 2013. So we saved a lot of money in land. We went to the drawing room and made plans and we started building the hospital. But in 2015, we had a major earthquake, 7.8 rectory scale, so many people died. And almost all of we were living in these tents. Just after this earthquake, there was a man-made problem. There was political problem between Nepal and India, and there was border blockade. There was no fuel in Nepal, no fuel, no medicine. And it uh, delayed our project, but we had to move ahead. It almost delayed our project for like one year, but we kept on uh, the construction of the hospital. And meanwhile, we needed equipment. And for Linac, we talked to both the major vendors. And there were multiple rounds of negotiation, long negotiation. And what we realized was there is nothing called price of machine. The price of machine is the price in which the vendor is willing to supply you. So we, we could get a machine in very lower price than the quoted price. And buying Linac was like buying a mobile phone. There are so many different models, you are confused. And there are so many different features which we, you will never use. So the good mobile is one which you can purchase from your pocket and which can make a phone call. <laughs> so we, we chose our machine and it took almost one year for us to select the machine. So we went ahead with the Linux installation. And the machine we got is a triple energy accelerator uh, with multiple electron. It was capable of doing 3D, IMRT, and BMAT. It has portal imaging. There's no CBCT, it is upgradable. Uh, then linear, after Linux, we need a CT simulator. So there's a two options like a big bore city, which are more than 80 centimeter and narrow bore. And everyone says for radiation therapy, you need a big bore city. And the price is almost double. But uh, if you look at the physics of our patient, uh, most of them are lean and thin patient. And we thought that uh, maybe a small bore will work. So we went for the widest small bore city, that's 74 centimeter. And till now, there have been no problem in patient with the city bore. So we saved a significant amount in this also. So this is our city simulator, 16 slice city with 74 centimeter bore with flat couch and we installed wall laser. Uh, now coming to the manpower, there was lack of trained radiotherapy technologist. So what we did was we hired a technologist who was from Nepal working in India for last 10 years and we had a lot of experience doing modern radiotherapy. And when the center was being built, he trained three radiographers in Nepal. So when we started the center, we had four working radiotherapy technologists. There was another issue, it was power. Like machines need power to run and we had more than 16 hours of power blockade. So we needed power backup to run the machine. So the backup was, there are two backup. One is in form of battery and UPS, which, will, which is automatic. Like when there's power outage, it will start and it will last for like 10 to 15 minutes. But by, then, by that time, we start our generator. Uh, it is 160 kV generator, I think. Cost around $20,000. And this is a diesel tank in which you store the fuel. And the operation cost for this uh, machine is like, uh, for this generator is like 18 liters it consumes and the price is like $18 per hour. And for uh, one, one and a half year, the machine was almost running in generator. Now the power is much better. 
patient need accommodation and uh, one of our doctor who has done a study found that only 20% of the treatment cost is uh, uh, is the 20 percent of the cost spent is on treatment and rest is on accommodation and other indirect costs like the job lost and patients from all over the country come. So we are planning to build a 21 room hostel inside the hospital. Cutting the cost and making everything cheap does not mean uh, not making it beautiful. Like if you see the sky skylight, we self designed it and it cost us or like only like a hundred dollars and the original one it cost like five thousand dollars <laughs> this is the bunker maze patient love it they say it's, it's a green light to radiotherapy so can you guess the price of this maze uh, it was fifty dollars <laughs> so finally our hospital was ready and we started radiotherapy services in 2016 uh, coming about the cost every dollar counts more in developing country like ours because every money we spend it comes from our patient so when we save one dollar we are saving patients money yesterday i was doing some uh, calculation uh, there was presentation from rwanda uh, they were referring their patient to kenya because there was no radiotherapy service and in one year they referred 165 patient per patient the cost was five thousand dollar so in one year they spent eight under $25,000 in referral, which could buy one lineac and every year it could treat 500 patient. So it's a huge number. And this is the way we calculated like how to reduce the cost. So till now we have treated more than five, more than 1000 patient and most of them are treated with 3D conformal radiotherapy. And regarding the price of treatment, the average cost is like $2,000 for 3D CRT. Uh, if you compare it uh, today morning, we had discussed on like in USA, it, the IMRT cost come around like $23,000. For our IMRT is like $2,500, something like that. In Ghana, there was discussion that it is like $7,000 to $8,000. And the government also subsidized up to $1,000 for cancer treatment. Health insurance is upcoming, but the coverage is still low in Nepal. And these prices are much lower than the India where patients were going previously. So what are we doing in this new center? So this is, this is our setup. We have got two Monaco consoles, one MIM software, thanks to Radiating Hope, which has donated a beam there, and OCD for DICOM. All patients undergo CT simulation, and 3D treatment is done in most of the cases. Uh, for all uh, nasopharynx and prostate, we are doing IMRT, and in other cases, we are doing in selected patient. Uh, we are also doing BMAT. We tried doing uh, bone marrow sparing BMAT in few pelvic tumors, especially in cervix cancer. We also have got electron. It is uh, very essential because uh, if you, you have cobalt medicine, you can't treat uh, skin cancer. Or for breast boost, we are using the electron. We are also doing total skin electron therapy. We made a customized uh, this wooden board and she is a patient of cutaneous lymphoma. We did T-set using this frame. Uh, we are also doing total body radiation and it was well covered in our national media like it was the first bone marrow transplant and this is the, this is also a custom made wooden frame in which T-set was done, sorry TBI was done. Coming to breath holding, bre uh, deep inspiratory breath hold for breast tumor, yesterday we had discussed and it is a beautiful technique. Essentially what is done is when the patient does deep breath hold, the heart comes out of the radiation field and it significantly spares the heart and cardiac toxicity is coming up big way in breast cancer and also now in lung cancer. These are not my slides, these slides are from yesterday uh, talking about the breath holding technique. Uh, we are not doing any of these because these are quite expensive. What we are doing is we are doing a cheap breath holding, it is voluntary DIVS. We have set up a SD camera in simulator room and treatment room. So we can precisely see the tattoos in the console and we do simulation as well as treatment in the breath hold and our technician can see it in a screen. So what we, what we do is when the patient takes a deep breath and the, and the laser moves to the breath hold position, the machine is started and when patient release the breath, we stop the treatment. So 
This is one of the patient undergoing. So using SD cameras, screen, and common sense, we are doing breath holding in breast. We are doing pediatric conformal radiotherapy because uh, because uh, pediatric patient they were not uh, getting proper radiotherapy in past. And precision radiotherapy is very important to reduce toxicity in pediatric. We see Wilms tumor, RMS. This is a case of medullary blastoma undergoing craniospinal radiation. Uh, for uh, QA, we do internal audit as well as external quality assurance using postal dosimetry. IAEA sends a TLD. We have to irradiate it to 2 gray and send it back. And they say that if the radiation dose is matching or not. And our results are within the limit. Recently, population-based cancer registry was started in Kathmandu. It started in 2018, January, and we are participating in that program. Uh, our hospital is 25 bedded hospital with uh, inpatient and daycare facility. Most of the patients are admitted for chemotherapy and supportive care. Uh, if you see in the last photograph, this is uh, our chemo mixing chamber, and it was also custom made with a glass chamber and exhaust and exhaust system. Uh, finally, we, had part we have partnership with Radiating Hope. Radiating Hope has been helping us. Uh, they started this uh, Everest expedition two years back, and uh, Tom and so many Radiating Hope members have visited our center. Uh, as I said, we are using MIM software for controlling, which, which was donated by MIM software and Radiating Hope. And we thank them for their generous help. These are some glimpses of a Radiating Hope team visiting the Kathmandu Cancer Center. Now, coming to the future, uh, we are looking to have brachytherapy, and uh, I'm glad to announce that Radiating Hope is helping us to get brachytherapy in very short time. We plan to participate in clinical trial, and there was an interesting talk by Dr. Munt in this morning, Arno Munt, and mainly we are interested in cervical cancer, which is their focus. And we get a lot of our, like 20% of our patient are cervical cancer. And uh, we are also interested in esophageal cancer, mainly palliative brachytherapy. We get a lot of esophageal cancer. In future, we plan to start stereotactic radiotherapy, but we did a lot of hardware upgrade, like cone beam CT and other things for that. So coming to the conclusion, uh, my take home message is cost effective and modern radiation treatment is possible in developing country. It is not an easy task, but uh, we love challenges and we can do it. Uh, this ends my slide. Uh, this is just about uh, our logo. It is Madagascar periwinkle flower. Binca drugs like Bincristine and these things are made from this drug. So this is the cancer connection with our logo. And this is our team. I would like to thank you everyone. Asanti.